Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you are one. Welcome to this one up channel. Code made easy. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, and like. And the moment you like this or you, you subscribe to this channel, the moment I upload a video, uh, you'll be notified. And it's another way for you to support this channel. And I will be quick in this my demonstration. Uh, this is online school management system i can call it complete school management system because it contains everything to manage your school online whether you have multi school your school are in different location or you have a single school but there is awesome application you can manage your school effortlessly so uh, we have many users interface in this application uh, these are the available modules for now uh, we have the admission portal this is meant for the new intake maybe a student want to apply in your school and this is where they will do the admission processing and once they are uh, admitted they can use this link to access their dashboard and likewise the teacher can also use this page to uh, access their own dashboard Publicly, um, the parents or guardian can check the results of their child and the, the new staff can apply on your portal from this link and uh, you, the admin or the, the, the owner of the school, can manage the school using this uh, portal. So if I want to log in now as the student, I need to click here and i will have to sign in as a student but uh, i will not do that in this demo i will log into the admin first after that i can show you how to get the details of the students how to use their password their registration number for the login so let me close this one now i want to like navigate to admin page and this is just my simple admin information uh, for now this is admin at example.com so this is just for the demo purpose and uh, the password here i will not disclose it for now so that me log in to the dashboard to manage what is happening in the school i am successfully logged in to the dashboard and these are the things i can see uh, let me first of all um, tell you the purpose of this application. It is a multi-language, uh, which means that uh, whatever country you are, you can use this effortlessly. The default language is, is English. As you can see right now, everything is in English. But if I click on select language here, this is powered by Google. So I can click the drop down. I select any language I want to select. Maybe I want to migrate to Arabic. Maybe I'm in Arabic nature. So the moment I do that, it will automatically convert the the, the text right here. I think is still loading. I don't know. Maybe as a result of poor network. Let's wait for the uh, system to load. As you can see, it's still loading. Fetching the details from Google. Um, okay let's continue let's continue with our work um let's look at this sidebar right here as you can see we have different options right from this page we have different options and uh, the first option here is initial settings so if i click on this initial settings you click on school profile you see another uh options school profile school logo administrators mission statement so i'll start with the school profile and this is the uh form for you to fill to make sure you change whatever you have here everything is just sample and fake information they are not real this is the name of the school this is a short name for the school the, the slogan or we call it motto 
your school code this is just random number and this is the the funded ga just follow the form and fill it accordingly and make sure you select the currency you use and you select your country in my own case it is nigeria so you tell the computer the type of operation you do maybe it is nursery primary only secondary only or nursery primary and secondary only and you can also tell the computer is it day only or boarding only or day and boarding facility that is present then you make sure you enter an authentication code that will be given to you the moment you uh, purchase this application so you can now actualize whatever you enter there and make sure you save it accordingly if i try to submit now it will not go because i need to enter this before i can actualize my changes the same thing go for logo administrators and mission statement on this mission statement is where you write your mission your vision your core values just fill in the, the, the form accordingly so now that you are done with that i really want to take my time to explain everything on this application so we move on to academic uh, management so under this academic management there are a lot of options there the first option i can see now is the uh, manage section this is where you manage your section maybe you want to migrate to fixed time second term or third term and uh, maybe you want to create a new section entirely and uh, this is where you do that uh, presently the the section we are is 2022 2023 the, the, the current term is third term now uh the, the the language just changed now as you can see now we're now in the arabic if you can remember i selected arabic the other time so everything changed to arabic as a sort of pro network so if i want to create arabic now i want to create terms in arabic so i need to enter this page as you can see it's telling me that uh the the form need to be uh, filled so if I want to migrate back to maybe I want to migrate to French, maybe you are in a French country. So this is French, as you can see, everything has turned to French. Uh, maybe you are from another country. Maybe let's say you are from India. So let's try Hindi. Let's take Hindi. Where is it? Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. Okay, this is from India. So whatever language you want to migrate to, you are free and the application is very handy and mobile responsive. It's also user friendly. Okay? So you can migrate to any language you want. So far, it is what you speak. You can speak to, you can uh, turn into, what they call it, Slovak. So this is it. So I will not, I will not, uh, delay much time on this you can even turn it to yoruba language this is yoruba language if you're nigerian and you're from uh yoruba side so you can select this wonderful uh drop down now uh, let's go back to the english language uh, if you are Igbo in nigeria you can also change whatever language you select will be selected automatically so let's migrate back to english so we can want to create a new section so it's telling me that invalid submission that the, the section is uh, is required so that is how you can do that you can go to manage term you select the term you want to migrate and the section you want to move to and you select the the actual term you want to migrate and you set the the time start time ended numbers of weeks numbers of days and the new term begins so this is where whatever you set here whatever you set in this page we automatically override the current version uh, current value we have here so let's move on to subjects this is the list of available subjects that came with our application though it is uh you can you can update and change it to whatever you want you can change the earth education but i will not change it for now you can change it you can also remove anyone that's not welcome in your school so you can also create your own subject right from this page you can tell the computer the one i want to create 
is either it going to be a departmental subject or a general subject if it is g it means it's general subject if you write any subject name here and you did not check this button so it's going to see the subject as general subject but the moment you check this one and you submit the name of the subject it marks it as a departmental subject now that you have done that you need to let the computer know this english and mathematics biology is only meant for the SSS or the senior section so you need to come back to academic you need to go to the registered subjects so you will have the privilege of seeing all the available subjects in your school these are the list of available subjects so you want to register english you want to register mathematics you want to register biology english your yoruba or igbo or Aousa, whatever then chemistry physics and um, one again agriculture science let's assume you want to register these eight subjects as senior subjects just click on it just submit if i try to submit this one now because i've already registered them if i try to submit them now you see the computer will not allow such to happen so you see it selected subject is already registered so i have already registered it so i cannot register it again unless i remove it from this uh, subject registration and maybe do it, the registration again so we are still under you can view all the registered subjects for a particular uh, section of your school maybe junior primary and secondary so this is primary you want to view all the primary subjects these are the list of all the primary subjects they are 18 and if you want to view the junior subject as well i think they are 14 so the last one is the senior subject which is this 18 subjects so that is why the computer rejected mathematics english biology the other time because it has already registered for a particular section uh, now we can also move on to manage classes uh, this is where you manage all the available classes in your school wow this is this mm, no, no, no. let's see this is the classes available in nigeria so we have the crutch kg nursery basic one to six genesis one to three and sss one to three under this one we have differences like maybe you are art student or humanity commercial or business and we have science this is where when you are creating the subject you enter the name of this of the of the class then you select the level and you say if it is art commercial or science okay now we can also view the departmental subject the list of subjects here is what the sss class are doing so you can register a single one for a particular department maybe art subjects you need to check all this one. okay you register it as art subjects so whatever you mark here and you register as art subject computer will, will register it under the art department any students assign it to that app we automatically offer all the selected subjects for that particular apps so now we are done with the with the academic part let us move on to student part so this is where we manage all our students in this wonderful application the first thing here on the list is the art student which means that you can register your student by yourself this is it um we, we require the usage the card usage for you to register students here the reason is that we don't want any ambiguous or uh, odd entry of student details because admin can just come in. maybe somebody gain access to the admin page and try and try to create the students into the account so uh he or she will not be able to do that in the absence of this flash card and flash card serial and likewise with the aspects of uh, authentication code so you can fill in the form to register students in your application by yourself so another thing here we can view all the available students that we have for now we have 12 male 14 females and 26 students altogether 
all their names emails phone numbers registration numbers are all fake because i just use random name generator online you can search for random name generator or fake name generator to create any fake names api you can use api you can use Laravel to generate fake names so if i see if you see any names here it is generated randomly so now i want to check if there is a student in, in crutch we don't need to check for the arm so you see no student found in crutch for this academic section but i think starting from which is one of what i have students there so let's go for this as you can see now we have names we have students in this gss1 you can go for gss2 we see we have two students we can go for gss3 we have three students we can go for uh, sss1 now in this ss1 is either we check at commercial or science if we did not check any of this this computer will search for all the students in SS1 and bring them all here regardless of their arms. Let's try to check. Now we have only four students. Uh, two is from art department, Y2 is from uh, science department. But I can check uh, from their arts. Maybe I want to check all the students in arts in SS1 that are in art class. We see two students because I specify their, their departments. The same thing go for SSS2. You can check all of them at once. You see, we have art, commercial, science, science, science. So everything is six. We can also check for SSS3 students as well without selecting their arms. So we have seven students in this particular class. So which means that everything is set. We can manage our students. We can view all of them. We can also generate their certificate uh, their id card so if i click on this one now you see it automatically generating the student id card immediately this is just a fake uh, signature it does not lead to anything so uh, this is the student registration number for this demo uh, this is the back of the registration of the id card uh, this is the front you can as well print it out or you save it um, send it to the student or send it to your whatever company is helping you to print your id card so it is you can use our system to generate your student identity card now that we are here back so let us move on to what other things can we do we can view students in grid format um, if I want to view them, I need to select the class I want to view. So let's say we want to view this one in a grid format. If any student misbehave on our portal, we can lock the account. Any account that is locked, the student will not be able to access his or her dashboard. So we can also uh, accept payments online. We can also view the students. Uh, ID card link. The one I've shown you, you can print the student's result right from here. You can also edit the student information. This is it. We can edit the student information from here. So, like so. Um, what else again? Let's go back. If I move back, you have to tell me to. I need to resubmit the form in order for me to fetch this page. So, these are the uh, if the student has an image, you will see this uh, upload passport. You will see the, the the clickable link here. So if I click here now, it will open another page for me to upload the student password. This is just the demo passport for any student that has no image. This is for the male and this is for the female. As you can see, they are different. So the reason why the pop-up is uh, allowing me to click is because the student has no image so you can go to the student page and snap the student and upload their passport and make sure that the password is, is not bigger than 50 kilobytes so i think that one is okay for a student management page so we can move on to student promotion uh you want to promote your student from a particular class maybe from jss1 want to promote want to view all the students in jss1 okay this one is uh, is due for promotion, is due for promotion, is due for promotion. But let's leave this one 
every this one alone you can now move them to a certain class here you can move them to a certain class here so maybe you want to move them to from jesus one to jesus two just have to promote them but i will not promote them in this demo i only want to show you that everything works perfectly uh, don't forget we are still under the student management uh, maybe student forgot their password they can come to the admin to reset it this is where we will reset the password for any students just enter the, uh, the email of the student for you now in your student at ksp.com it's nothing just this uh, place order then the new password the confirm new password and the authentication code if i try to submit that uh it will generate an error telling me that i need to enter the details of the email and this, the password i want to update we're still under students so we can also generate their certificate this is it you can enter their registration number this and that we can generate their certificate or whatever you call it maybe testimonial so that is the beauty of it we can also view the testimonial we have generated i don't think we have we don't have a certificate for now so that's why it's redirecting me back to this page if i click here now if i say i want to generate let's see if we have one yes i think we have one this is not really this is not really just random admission number and this one also so if i click here now you see it automatically generates the testimonial for me and it's, it's random the information is not real so this is it this is a uh, student testimonial and see the number the email support at schoolname.com address sample demo and just the random uh, information being generated so now you can print the testimonial for the student let's wait as you can see you can also save it as pdf and send to the email of that particular parent requesting for this testimonial now that we are done with that let's move on to attendant management module so all this thing is available for their class teachers to do but i only want to show you right from the admin page so i will, I will have to log into their page and show you how it works as well so you can mark the attendance for a particular uh, class these are the available students and this is today's date and being the admin you can backdate the uh, attendance information as well we allow it but the staff cannot do that so you can mark this one as present let's see what to mark this one as present for today in ss2 science department so let's submit it so attendance can only be submitted on monday to friday today is sunday so the time of doing this is sunday so i cannot do that unless it is monday and uh, Tuesday because today's date happen to be Sunday so and there is no school on Sunday so comp the computer is telling us that this attendant can only be submitted on days between Monday and Friday so you cannot submit on Saturday you cannot submit attendant that maybe you want to this one is telling the computer that the student is present today and today is Sunday so there is no school on Sunday and on, on Saturday so that is the beauty of this unique application that's what makes this uh, classic school quarter unique and we can also should view the attendance record that we have shared maybe for this class uh, for this maybe you want to check for a particular date maybe today we don't have no resource form so you can check based on time you can also check based on students maybe you want to check all the attendance record for a particular student in SSD. these are the list of students in SSD. if i select ss2 you see these are the list of students in ss2 you can check the students you want to check their attendance and mark a, a, a date maybe from so so date to the, to today you want to view for now we don't have any record for this student
is Alagi Babalala Joseph. So as no internet record for this letter date. We are done with attendant management, we are done with academy, we are done with students, we are done with initial statements. So we want to move on to staff management now. This is where you had your own staff. I will not add staff because I have more than uh, 11 staff. I think 11 staff A, so I don't need to add any more. So let us move on. This is where you had your new staff. Just follow the form and uh, submit. You can view all the staff details. This email is normally is automatically generated based on the name of the application, so it leads to nowhere. So <clears throat> this is it, and this is the student and the, the staff. You can see that this one is assigned as class teacher for SS2 Art, SS1 Art, SS2 Science. You can see their classes and rows. So this one is Buster, uh, Ted Julius, Ted Judin, and Dream. Uh, this is the registration number for this demo and i can log into the account but i, I still want to show you everything on this admin uh, page you can log the uh, the staff account any staff any account that is logged they will not be able to access the page you can also see view them in grid like that uh, in table like this see their rows see their class see this one is the class the receptionist Principal, if they are not teaching as well, so you can also manage rows, you can create more rows, you can as well assign rows to staff. These are the rows, this is where you assign their rows. Click the staff name, you select the rows, then you enter your password, you submit. But there's one thing I need to explain right from this page. If you uh, if you choose someone, maybe you assign someone as class teacher, yeah. And the moment you do that, you need to come back in. This is class teacher now. The name is Paul Elaine uh, Opel Noah. This is class teacher, but which class? So you need to come back to class teacher. These are the list of the class teachers you selected. This is where you assign them to their particular class. Maybe Opel Noah now. This one is in uh, is in as a study at so if it is new new staff now that you have assigned as class teacher and you want to assign to a particular class if i select basic nothing happen if i select js uh, 5 if i select js3 if i select uh js1 nothing happen. but the moment i select ss1 you see it asks me to choose from the apps so i need to specify the apps to which i want to assign a particular staff and i cannot assign a particular staff to two classes so it's only one staff as a class teacher for uh, a class so that is that you can also reset staff password from this page you can reset their password if they forget the password now we are now moving on to resort management module this is resort management module it contains a lot of options so we have the grading system this is the uh, grading for all the schools we have the junior grading we have the uh, we have primary grading this is primary grading and we have the junior grading we have the senior grading this is the senior grading any students this is how it works any student that uh got the mark from 80 to 100 the computer will automatically give the students a one and the remark is going to be distinctions so but this is not limited to what you can do you are advised to change it if this is not what you offer in your school this is not how your grade is you can click this uh, update button you click on it it will tell you to okay i have opened it for you change it to whatever value you want but i believe this one should be 100 then this one should, can be changed from 80 to 90 but i believe this one should remain at 100 so we need to lock this page you can only change this one so now that we have done that i think it's okay you can change your distinction or your remark you can authenticate it but i'm not authenticating anything this is just the demo for this software though it's working perfectly 
but the available details we use here is just for the demo purpose. Now, there is three methods of uploading results from this page. So I will show you and I will explain every bit of it. So this is for single uploading. How does it work? This single uploading uh, uh, um, works this way. If a student fails a particular examination, maybe he or she did not sit for the exam, and uh, the exam has been uploaded to the server, and he now came back to write the examination. So the subject for that student can be uploaded if it is only a single subject. So the student, the subject can be uploaded for that particular student. For instance, there is SSS3 students who did not come to school on time, uh, when they were doing the examination, and that was common science. So, and if he, he did not write biology, then uh, you need to upload biology for her alone or him or her. So, you need to do that by fetching the score sheet. It only fetch that student alone, which is uh, an issue low fit. Though the subject is biology, so you need to enter the continuous assessment, which is CA. Which is, uh, it cannot be more than 40, and uh, this one cannot be more than 60. So 40, 60 is 100. So if the student score maybe score 37 or 36, and the score 58 here, yeah, I think it's still okay. So you can submit it, but I will not upload anything because the resource is already uploaded. So let's move back. I'm only showing you how to upload a single subject for a single student. And uh, maybe the student did not miss a single subject, but if you, the student misses all the subjects, maybe he or she was not in school when they were doing the exam, so it misses all the subjects. You can come back here, you can come back to upload results here and check the name of this, check the class. I think it says three science. So, this is where you do the uploading one by one. Okay, maybe this one did not come to school during the first time exam. You want to upload all the subjects that the student is doing just click here this is it so you can upload for our greek biology chemistry civic economics english geography mathematics and physics so you just have to enter their value and make sure that you authenticate whatever you are doing so as to know that you are the uh, admin you log in legitimately now we are done with that we can also move on to the i wanted to write mass not bass sorry i will try to change that i wanted to write mass uploading mass uploading works the same way single uploading work but you have to select all the students in that particular class so you want to fetch all the students as a study that they are science class you want to upload their agreed science and this so these are the list of students in that class you can upload their mark accordingly so any any student you display here must be given a value or else the system will not allow you to submit empty space okay we can also view the result that we have uploaded you can view any result maybe you want to view this for uh agriculture yes i think we have the details for it we are still under resource management. We can upload their affected domain. So let's select this one for this. Uh, no, let's say science. So we want to upload their affective functionality, meekness, uh, honesty, self control, attentiveness, leadership. So we can give them from one to five. Five is the highest. So one is the lowest. So you can give them marks. The, being the admin you can do this though the class teacher can also do this it's majorly designed for class teacher but in the situation whereby the class teacher is not on seat it's not available maybe there's no enough teacher to manage it the admin can also do that you just have to select the staff names you are uploading on his or behalf so you just check the time and do the uploading the same thing goes for psychomotor 
you can also upload the Sakamoto for the class you selected like this we are still under resource management you can view or you can upload teachers comments on the particular results maybe for SSS3 you want to check the command and uh, the science department for comments so the teacher can, can comment on their results any comments written here will be displayed at the base of the result on the port sheet i will show you when we get there we are moving one by one so we are we can also upload the principal uh, comments so as you can see now we can upload the principal comments and the time i think it's done then so this is the teacher's comments so the principal can see the teacher's comment and write his or her own comment for the student maybe there is error in the comments the teacher uploaded you can click here to unlock the teacher's comment and update whatever you want to change there you can unlock it back so that is how it works you can as well view all the comments both for the class uh, teacher and for the principal the admin can receive everything they have written this is it they can it can also be logged or open for any collection that's the beauty of this uh, school management system is very uh, handy and it solves practically all your problems so we can we, can, we have two methods of pretty report sheets this is for single students maybe you want to print the single student report sheet maybe you have the registration number to be 2023 uh, we have C uh, 1 2 3 4 5 it's just random code 0, 0, 1, 2. so this is the student from JSS1 if you want to prove me right you can copy it here and move it to your uh, dashboard you can paste it here paste it here and press search can you see now we have a student for it we are searching based on the id you see this is a student and it's in jesus one so that i want to prove to you that you can also search any student details on this page so we want to check for the result of the student for jesus one the reason why we allow class to be selected here is that the student might be in JSS1. I want to check the result of basic six so of that school. So that's why we allow this. We're supposed to track the student class based on the, the registration number, but that will be for the present term alone, the present class alone. So we don't want to check if the student is in JSS1 and it's in JSS2. I still want to check the result of JSS1. So that is why we allow that. Then this the section we need to select the section of the result we want to fetch and the result tab. If I try to fetch this one out, you see the result not found. Sorry, no result found. Please contact the site administrator. But if I select the top time because we have result there, I can now up view the result. This is the result of the student. Now this whatever your the name of your school is, the address, the phone number, everything will be replaced when you purchase this application you see the attendance details let me make it large and zoom in for you to see the student did not write the first time exam he did not write the second time exam so the computer have to grade the student based on the third time record only this one so this one this one this one so this is the grading system and uh, it's marking it accordingly any student that score from 80 to 100 you have a grade of a that's why you see we have a and b and b here so this is the result this is the comment from the class teacher and this is the comment from the head of school and this is the fake signature it's not real and this is the school management stamp it's just school management stamp we don't understand this one just the correct draw so you can use your own stamp so whatever stamp you upload will be there will be here and the next time begins displaying here the numbers of subjects being offered is this and the cognitive domain and the psychological domain everything is there the numbers of time school open the numbers of time present and the numbers of time absent you don't do this one i just changed the result i did not mark their attendance so that is the beauty of this you can also print it out you see now you can print it out you can save it as pdf you can also send it to the parents so that is that 
let me zoom back let me zoom back to the number signs so this is for the single student results page we can as well go for we can as well go for the multiple result page this is it so if you want to generate uh, a result for a particular class if we have 20 students in that class their result will be automatically generated for example i want to check all the results in episode 3 i only want to share for the arms all the students in science so for this and for the top 10 i need to enter my authentication code so if i want to check now you see the result is generating gradually this is it now we have six students in that class we have the first one the second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one and the sixth one so you can print all of them at once maybe you want to view all the other game they are the main let me zoom in for you to see that they are not the same result this is the for learning of faith and uh, this is for this one is female as you can see now female the age is 22 years and this one the age is 18 so telling you that they are different results so you can print all of them at once you can print it at once this is the this is where you generate the bulk so but if you want to check let me close this one photo check for all the ss3 without checking their arms you see that it will bring all the students in that class and generate their results let's see let's see if it works so yes i think it works is it i think so yes it brings all the students in that in that school and that class particular class regardless of their arms so that is that on that resource management let us move on to another aspect of the application which is the, uh, the school activities i will not do anything on this this is just on the day this letter notification or uh, maybe notice board help desk timetable and appointment that is that so I don't want to delay much, it's just how to write something and display something but I want to, if you want to see it, this is it, it's working you can approve appointment you can also where is it? you can also go to the notice board and create some information about the school I'm only showing you so now we move on to admission portal this is where you admit your new students but we don't have any new students that apply through our online portal you can also um, uh, download the cv of any student or any staff that applied via our portal that is that then uh, we have finances or financial management so we need to set our fee structure uh, for now maybe you want to accept school fee how much is this school fee? Maybe it's forty thousand naira. Maybe it's forty for which class? Or you want to add more? Maybe you want to add more fee structure, exam, exam levy, uniform. These are you just have to enter, create as many uh, fee as you want. You can also view the one you have created on this page. Maybe for JFS one. Let me see the uh, fee payments. This is your allocation. Uh, exam fee is one thousand or is ten thousand. PTA five thousand. Resort six thousand. Tuition for five thousand. Uniform eight thousand. Everything is everything four thousand. And the student can pay using their online card. Maybe they can use their ATM card to pay or their portal. They can this, which which means that in this application you can pay using your. Uh, online payment so maybe a student want to make payment now you need to accept payments from which department or from which class maybe a uh, jesus one these are the list of students there maybe you want to pay using cash or you want to pay using online 
So if you want to pay using online, you click here. You are paying seventy-four thousand naira. So you can pay using your card. You can pay some of it. Maybe you wanted to pay uh, twenty-four thousand. Uh, you want to pay twenty-four thousand naira. So if I submit now, it has to pay using the online interface. This is it. This is the demo. It's not real, as you can see, it's not real, so you want to pay using this demo. After that, you can just use this one to pay. You, you accept the payment, the payment is successful now. As you can see, said your payment transaction was successful. This is your payment ID for this demo. You can print the student uh, receipt for the payment. So, <coughs> the student paid online. Let me zoom it. Let me make it bold. So the student pay twenty four thousand naira now. Payment analysis for total twenty twenty three twenty three academic section. This is the breakdown of the payment. The exam exam levy is ten thousand. The PTA, the result, the tuition, the uniform. So the current payment now is twenty four. The cumulative payment is seventy four. While the balance is zero, I think he has paid initially before everything he has paid now is twenty uh, is seventy four. So which means that the student has no balance to make for the school. So let's try to check that online payment history. So we want to check the let's go to the payment history online payment history. As you can see now, this student twenty four he paid twenty four now. The due balance is now 15. I think the due balance is now 15. Let's see. Okay. I think there is a miss of A. I will look into that. There's a miss of A. The money is supposed to uh, remain, uh, what they call it, the money is supposed to remain uh, 50. The cumulative, so this one is supposed to be, I think there is a mistake there. This one is supposed to be of. Uh, is it 50? It's supposed to be 50 now. Yes, I will look into that and do the. the I will show you the up, 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 uh, updated version of it. So now you can also pay using uh, offline mode. Maybe you wanted to bring the money by cash. You can say you want to pay by cash. You want to pay by cash for that GSS one student. This one you want to pay by cash. So you are split all here. Has paid or a so it means you can also print the receipt. It means the students have paid everything in. Maybe I've paid initially that I don't know. So let's select another student. Let's select another student. I need to clarify that before I move on. Let's select another student for the payment. So maybe let's see this one if he has paid initially. So this person has paid um has paid fifty four thousand remain twenty thousand to balance so you can check that one from here okay now this one is correct now i think there is mixed up in that account i will look into that uh the total charges is this the paid is 54 the balance is this so this one is correct now so thank god so i will have to look into that account and rectify it so we also have Hostel management. I think we are done. Yes, we are done with this. You can only view the expenses. Maybe you want to change the school expenses. You want to have new expenses. Everything is working perfectly. Uh, now let's move on to hostel management. Yeah, I think we have hostels. We have two hostels: Crown Hostel and we have Supreme Hostel. Uh, here we have numbers of room. Here is just a room, and this one we have two rooms. So if you want to view that room, you can view here. So we have Supreme Hostel, we have the uh, Success Room, and we have Divine Room in that Supreme Hostel. But this Supreme Hostel is a boys' hostel. So we have bed space, bunk, we have 10 bunks, here yeah, we have 8 bunks. So we can view all the bunks. This one is, is booked for, by Joseph Miriam Ajayi. So the expiration date is July 31st. So you, you can now sign out when this is done. When the date is done, System automatically is logged 
uh, the student out of the hostels. So you can assign this one to a new student as well by selecting the class and selecting the names of the student you want to assign to submit. So that is the beauty of this wonderful application. Manage hostels number 29 is available out of 30. You have booked for you have booked one because we have a 10 here we have eight in the we have eight here maybe making 18 so we go to the ladies or females or guys who stay you can see that we have 12 bed space none of it is booked so at that let's move on to guests uh, this is the guest module so the whatever the receptionist entered the admin can see transform here you can add your own the guest name the phone number the email is whom to see uh, the purpose and whom to see okay now let us move on to the control panel this is control panel if you don't want students and staff to upload their results, you can disable it so they will be able to upload the result. Uh, if you don't want any student to check their result, you can disable it. Maybe the result is still uploading, they are still in progress, so you don't want them to waste their stretch card. You can lock it. Once it's done, you can open it for checking. You can disable all staff from logging into the application. You can disable all staff from applying. Or from supplier and submitting their CV on the career portal, you can also disable student to log in and student to apply for the admission. So, the last thing that we have to show before I navigate away is the admission and this flash card pin or the sort pin. So, this is the uh, available admission pin that we have for now. Uh, as you can see, it's logged. If you want to view it, you need to enter the passcode that will be given to you to decrypt it. Maybe in this demo, I'm only using one to three. So now I think it's not correct. That's why it's not displayed. So let's try to view the, to enter the correct one. Yes, it's correct now. So you can see the pin. You can see it's still active. So any any inactive pin the one that has been used you can remove it but for now you can remove any pin for now so it is only when the pin is used you can remove them the price is five thousand per one so it's not something uh, it's real so let's move on to resort pin as well uh, we have resort pins of which four or five this one is the usage is five times this person has used four out of the five so it means it only require remain one usage. Why this one is two or five? This one is zero or five. This one, uh, they are yet to use all this one. The price is just two hundred naira for the resort check in every time. So my wonderful people, this is the uh, complete management application for your school. If you are interested in buying this software, or if you're a programmer you think there is another feature you want to add you want to contribute to it or you want to be uh, a reseller you want to purchase the source code it is available uh, you can contact us at the at the link i will drop at the comment section and the description of this video feel free to modify this uh, software if you want to add to it you can get the source code and you can modify the way you want um, but it is not a, a free version of software it's real so it took so us more than years to, to arrive at this junction and uh, we are calling on the general public the school owners the universities if you have a project you can contact us if you like the application and you want to be using it in your school you can also contact us Thank you guys. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, it's another means of helping me growing this channel. You can subscribe. You can click the notification bell in order for you to receive the notification the moment I upload another wonderful video like this. So once again, my name is Sam from Code Made Easy. My company is Flat RP. You can view my page. You can view. You can contact with me on Twitter. On LinkedIn and so on. 
I will drop my social media links on the description. And this is where I will call it a day. In my another video, I will show you how the teacher and the student can log into their respective dashboard. Thank you. I'm happy to have you in my channel.